Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Dudan. Thank you so much for joining us for your city update. Well, after months of waiting, we are happy to report that the first round of COVID-19 vaccines have arrived in Nevada. The first doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine arrived in our state yesterday. And we're set to receive more than 25,000 doses in the first week's allocation. Of those doses, 7,800 will be given out to pharmacy partners for long-term care facilities and more than 17,000 will be distributed to counties for local hospitals. UMC actually was the first hospital in Nevada to administer the vaccine to frontline healthcare workers yesterday. Hundreds of healthcare workers here in the Valley received their vaccine. Now, these are healthcare workers that have the highest risk of exposure to coronavirus. Nevada is expected to receive more than 91,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine by the end of this month. But well, we now have more guidance as to how the eviction moratorium will work here in the state of Nevada. Under this directive, a covered person is someone who is unable, due to circumstances related to the pandemic, to pay their full rent due to substantial loss of income, loss of work hours or wages, a layoff or extraordinary medical expenses. The individual is likely to become homeless or forced to move into a shared living situation if evicted. Also, the person must be expected to earn less than $99,000 for the year or $198,000 if filing a joint tax return. The person was not required to report any income in 2019 or received an economic impact payment. Uh, this moratorium does not mean you don't have to pay your rent. It just does not allow you to be evicted. Landlords are still allowed to charge late penalties and fees according to your lease agreement. Please keep in mind this eviction moratorium only applies to residential properties. Commercial properties are not covered. For a more detailed look at the rules, go to nvhealthresponse.nv.gov. Well, bus riders here in the Valley now have a new way to pay for their bus rides, and it's all contactless. The Regional Transportation Commission launched a new way to buy bus passes using cash through the RTC smartphone app. The new feature allows customers to add funds to their Ride RTC account by preloading cash at nearly 350 locations valley-wide. Riders will then have the ability to store bus passes in their app that they can use at their convenience. The RTC says more than 60% of their riders like to pay their fares with cash, so this is a new option to maintain a contactless experience during the pandemic. All right, well, that's going to do it. Have a great day, everyone, and we will see you tomorrow. Stay safe out there.